Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Three Hour News Show. You are now watching our signature segment, See This Tories. Yep. Yes. Before we continue our first discussion today, um, I would like to ask mm. Hans. Mm -hmm. Although I already know the answer, <laughs> have you ever joined a dance class? I used to be a professional dancer bands back in my life. Um, Same. Yes. So we are actually a trained dancer, but in our own discipline. Ballet dancer. Ballet. So uh, she was a ballet dancer. I was a musical dancer, more like you know Broadway and stuff like that, and also R and B and stuff, whatsoever. But right. uh, as long as it, it generated money. <laughs> True. <laughs> well, talking about dance or dance class today, we will have fun swing dancing. Oh. So joining us here in the studio today is. Cecilia Chatti, not Catty, <laughs> and Unita Deviana. They are both from Indo Swing Official. Hello, hello. Hello. Good afternoon, ladies. Hello. Welcome Thank to our so studio. Thank you for being here. Yes. So, Thank you for having us. Yes. Of so course, your nickname is Cecile and Juju. Uh, you can call me Juju. <laughs> no, no. I'll call you Chatti and you Unita. Need that. Yes. Okay. All right, all right. First of all, um, how did you start Indo Swing Official and why did you choose swing dance out of all type of dance mm. in this world? Okay, so I'm gonna answer this question. Mm -hmm. So back in 2016, there's a lady from Canada, mm -hmm. Elsie, that she's dance Lindy Hope. She's dancing Lindy Hope. She's living in Jakarta. And as we know, Lindy Hope is not our culture. Yep. No, it's not. Yeah, so she started the community back in 2016. Mm -hmm. But then there's a hiatus. Mm -hmm. And then to 2018, the people from 2016 just continue the community. Oh. That's why all of us love the Lindy Hope because we all love swing music itself. Mm -hmm. Because we dance with the swing music. Yeah. So it's going on until now. Were you a dancer before you joined this community? I've tried ballroom dancing before. <laughs> I'm wow. telling you, I'm telling you, uh, from the dancing background, ballroom dance is like really, really, really hard. Yeah. <laughs> you have to have this posture. It's hard. One of them, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, um, okay, so both of you uh, have been joining this community for, from 2000. Uh, um, 17. Myself is 2019. 2019. Mm -hmm. And I joined this community in 2021. 2021. Yes. So more than, each of you, more than two years. Yes. yes. But uh, where did you learn this type of dance before? Well, for me, I learned it when I was a student in Australia. So mm -hmm. it was back then in 2013. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as you know, being a student, you had a minimal budget to have fun, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Right, right, To right. entertain yourself. So... I tried a healthier way to have fun, which yeah. is dancing. Went to uh, Lindy Hop class, mm -hmm. and then I started in uh, Lindy Hop in Western Australia in mm -hmm. Perth, mm -hmm. and until now. So it's been like 12 years. Yes. 12 years. I've been dancing Lindy Hop. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, well, I joined the in Lindy Hop community in those swing 2019. Uh -huh. Why I joined this? Because I am a singer. Uh, I'm a you musician, are a yeah. yeah, and I sing jazz. Mm -hmm. One of uh, my friend Nia Juliarso asked me, try this, then maybe you like it. Mm. And then, this is my dance. Uh, this is my <laughs> dance. Wow. All right, now let's dig deeper into swing dance. Okay? Yeah. Because uh, honestly, I'm not really familiar with mm. it. Um, how many kinds of swing dance are there? Because when we talk about ballet, we have so many types yeah. of ballet. We have classical, we have contemporary, we have freestyle. We have uh, jazz ballet. Jazz ballet. Oh, we have a lot. But what yeah. about swing dance? So, first of all, it's a very good question because so many people have a vague idea about swing dancing itself. Mm -hmm. So, if I can explain it very simple mm -hmm. to those who are watching it, yes. um, swing dance is like the biggest umbrella, mm -hmm. right? And then it is inspired always with, um, it's inspired by swing music itself. Yeah. Mm -hmm which is born in the 1920s era, 1930s, and then it's kind of like um, slowing down or going down in 1950s mm -hmm. to until now. Yeah. So the style itself, for example, like Lindy Hop, it's one of many, many dance that you have other than Balboa, Shaq, Charleston, mm -hmm. authentic solo jazz, where you dance by yourself instead of in partner. partner right. Because in Lindy Hop, you dance in partner, which mm -hmm. You guys gonna try? try it. I'm so excited. Yeah. So there, 
actually like there are a lot of types yeah. that you have within this umbrella. huge umbrella. Mm. Yes. And if you if you are interested to know more, you can just type swing dancing history and it's actually a very very uh, touching history yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. because swing dancing itself is a um, escape for those who feel oppressed at the time oh. Oh. because it was during a uh, segregation era in yeah. the United States uh -huh. in the 19 late 1920s until 1930s yeah that's when the African American as we know mm -hmm. had a very very uh, hard time yeah so, so the only it's, way, it's yeah. actually the same time and also the same reason why the blues music was actually yeah, invented. Yeah, correct. Yes, oh. yes. Super interesting. Actually, yeah, blues first and then, and then eventually yeah, yeah. evolving to oh. swing. The, yeah. the development is just the same, music and the dance mm. itself. Yeah. Yeah. Just so you know, I'm not wearing heels today because I'm so ready to learn <laughs> to swing. Because yeah. based, based on the brief uh, that we got, uh, for for ladies, yeah. it's actually best for you not to dance the type of dance not in heels. True. All right. So right? not in heels. So let's say under the big umbrella of swing dance, more than ten kinds. Yeah, probably more than ten. Yeah. But it used to be like hundreds of Ooh. evil really? men. Really, evil men. Yeah. So many during types. that time, oh. but at that time we didn't have. TikTok, Instagram, yeah, of so we didn't have, unfortunately, we didn't have the evidence. Uh -huh. So yeah. since what age uh, can you learn uh, swing dance? You can start whenever you want, like Any teen, teens. How early? Can, can a three-year-old join this? Well, if the three-year-old kids can move uh -huh. with the rhythm. Actually, yeah, actually, they're, they're, because yeah, there's Because yeah, there's like babies of, the teacher. Uh -huh. yeah, oh. the of the teacher. Yeah, the babies of the teachers. Maybe de it depends on the cognitive development of that child. Mm. Yeah. Yes. And also, sure. if you want to start it at 70 years old. <gasps> that old? Yeah. Never it's too also late. possible. Never too late. Never, Never too late to learn. Yes. And what kind of uh, swing that you practice in your class or probably in your community? Uh, it's two types, mm -hmm. so Lindy Hop and we have Authentic Solo Jazz, mm -hmm. which you dance with the same song, swing music during mm -hmm. 1930s, 40s era, mm -hmm. but you dance it by yourself. Yeah. Oh. yeah, Partner and solo. I see. Yeah. So we already know that age uh, will never be an issue mm -hmm. in this yes. type of dance, but um, does one person have to have this requirement in order to excel in swing dance or maybe not to excel in order to join a swing dance class for me maybe later Yunita can add, uh, add it for me as long as you want it you're ready to move ready to move uh, you love swing itself uh -huh. swing music itself because we're gonna dance like two until three hours mm -hmm. with the swing music wow wow two to three hours dancing Ooh, yeah, I would love it's it. It's like use... cardio, like if you're running. Yeah, probably, happy yeah. cardio. Happy cardio. Happy cardio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> it's cardio, cardio plus another hormone, endorphins, yeah. Yeah. serotonin, yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. Anything to yeah. add to the uh, requirements? Yeah, and also like if you don't mind to change a uh, dancing partner because in, for example, in some types of dancing mm -hmm. you have fixed partner for example like ballroom dancing yeah, you have yeah. you need to have a fixed partner right <laughs> but for lindy hop itself that's the power and the spirit of swing dancing mm -hmm. yeah because you can have um dance. exchange here yeah, and dance with a um, changing partner mm. yeah. and that's when the dancing the communication happened because just by itself um it's like a whole lot of improvisation mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so if you meet, yeah, if you meet like many um, different dancing partner and you have a different type of communication. Yes. I think you'd be yeah. good in this dance because uh, he's uh, very adaptable. Yeah, I'm a, nice. I'm a talker. <laughs> but so, in that sense, uh, it's the same like um, like in community of salsa and pachata. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sometimes yeah. like salsa and pachata, you can actually uh, change, partners change partners and also it's actually um, uh, some it's also it's a social interaction, if I might say. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah. True, okay, true, true. so swing dance is also a social interaction. But where do you usually uh, have this uh, kind of gathering for like a uh, swing dance performance or or mm -hmm. probably a swing dance night? Uh, do you have any, any particular day for that? So we have uh, social dance events and yeah. in, in particular, like um, the Lindy Hop community itself, that's the essence of the dance mm -hmm. you know the social dance events when you see for example if you see 
the salsa community, they mm -hmm. have the social dance party. Yeah. Yep. That's where it happens. And we are now having it in... Around Senayan area. Yeah. Which Senayan area. is where? Patal Senayan. Oh. oh. Yeah, in Patal Senayan area. And you can find uh, the information in our Instagram. Mm -hmm. Which uh, is? Indo Swing, Swing Official. official. Uh, Indo Swing <laughs> Official. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And yeah, that's that's uh, that's the regular event. Yeah. Happen every Saturdays at oh. four. I know. Yeah, four from once a week. one until six. Yeah, from one to six. Love it. Yeah. yeah. The class yeah, we... starts at one until four, four. Mm -hmm. and then we start the social sure. dance events from four, four to, to six. six. And three times or maybe four times a year, we have like event like maybe Christmas event, mm -hmm. Halloween event, mm -hmm. Independence Day event with the live music. So you can dance with the live music and yeah. meet a lot of people. Yes. Mm. So, so let's say for, for singles <laughs> No for singles this is actually the right time for you. Really? Yes. 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 <laughs> and let's say uh, we, we both are interested in joining uh, those events or gatherings. Uh, what do we need to wear? Is there any special shoes that we need to have or a special attire? Because ballet, you need to have uh, that ballet the shoes, point yeah. mm. shoes. You have to wear a leotard so we can see your posture. What about in the tutu? Yeah, tutu. <laughs> tutu. So cute. So yeah, good questions because so many people ask us about it. Yeah. But um, most importantly are the shoes mm. first. So for the shoes, you can wear something like what you're wearing right now. Oh, sneakers. this is okay. Like sneakers, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. yep. And um, if you want to wear something with heels, mm -hmm. it should be like um, like what you like wearing. hidden heels. Yeah, mm -hmm. or three centimeters. Yeah, probably like yeah. three centimeters. Mm -hmm. um, so it maximum. has to be stable, not, yeah, not like the tiny heels. Not the stilettos. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, heels. And for the um, costumes, mm -hmm. if you are like me, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> which is into like a vintage era. Mm -hmm. uh, you can you can play around wearing something vintage era in the 1930s and 40s. I was about to say that you look like <laughs> people from New Orleans. Yeah. From Thank the you. Thank you. And also, if we have like special event like last month, mm -hmm. we we have like Independence Day event. Mm -hmm. Most of us coming with the kebaya. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. We can play around Halloween. with the costume. Yeah. The Halloween party, we can play around with the costume. Oh. As long oh, yeah. as it's breathable. Yeah. And yes. It doesn't. Course. It still looks good for it, it the next three good. hours of dancing. Yes. yes. Yeah. And probably because you know, so in, in in any kind of dancing, um, the the attire should be you know for for, for ladies, um, try to wear something that is actually sort of uh, move with you. Yeah. Yes. So Girl, it can like, it can actually create another visual effect. Yeah. Yes. Correct. Correct. So, Correct. so skirts okay. You don't have. Uh, movements like lifting your legs up in the air we have it oh but you, you have to wear something underneath yeah yeah yeah, okay. yeah. normally yeah. Yeah, normally yes, yes. okay normally, yes. 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 <laughs> all right so it's getting more interesting and also uh we are still trying to figure out whether we can do it or not so see the stories will continue after the break with a special swing dance practice with Chatti and Unita and also another member from Indo Swing Wahyu Haryantono so do not go anywhere